Hi, this is Andrew Moore Crispin with your Gadget TV first look at the Kyocera Echo. Now we can see here, it looks pretty much like a standard candy bar phone, but it has a little bit of a difference. We can see here running a stock 2.2 uh, Android. However, what's really exciting about this phone, if we flip this little slider up here, we get access to an entire second screen. Now that's, uh, that's obviously useful for um, expanding your real estate, but they've done some interesting things with actually using this new screen real estate. So if we were to open an email, I'm not sure if there's an email account set up on this one. Let's see here. Okay, there's no, uh, no account here, but we'll go into a uh, web browser. That way we can actually see the, uh, one, of the, one of my favorite uses of this, um, of this split screen technology is we actually have a full QWERTY keyboard now on the bottom. Now, touch screen keyboards, generally re reasonably easy to type on. Uh, if you flip them in the landscape mode, um, you have a much wider screen op or much wider keyboard to use, obviously. However, in this case, we actually are still able to use an entire uh, landscape phone screen up the top here, which I really like. We'll go home. Now, another uh, obvious application for this is in gaming. So if we uh, go into the applications here, now you can see that scrolling happens pretty seamlessly between the two screens. I'm gonna go in here and look for The Sims. And we have The Sims. This is one of the, uh, one of the games that's actually been optimized to run on the Kyocera Echo. So we can see here, I haven't had a chance to really uh, play around with this game, so I'm not entirely sure how to, how to work it, but you can see that the bottom screen has now become a control pad uh, that we can actually use to interact with the game. Um, like I said, completely logical. I mean, we've see, we're seeing phones come out uh, that are promising touchpad, um, like the Xperia Play, where you actually have uh, full gaming controls in the bottom here. I like the fact that we can use this screen in any configuration that we want. Now, obviously, uh, many apps in the Android market not properly configured to actually take full advantage of this. They'll still work split screen, uh, but we're seeing more and more uh, applications, or we will be seeing more applications coming out that actually take full advantage of this. Uh, one application that we saw in our interview with Kyocera, so if we have the phone in this configuration, I'm going to turn it uh, into portrait mode here. If we tap uh, two fingers on the screen, we actually get a multitasking option. So we can actually have our web browser running on the left and, uh, for example, open up an email or find our contacts here, have independent um, browsing on the left, and we can be using our address book or our email or anything like that in the right-hand screen here. So multitasking on smartphones, uh, even if your smartphone's capable of multitasking, generally not the easiest thing in the world to do, given that you have to switch between multiple different applications. In this case, I really like this idea where we can actually have our web browser here, have our contacts here or our email or what have you. Go back home real quick, and we will close this guy up. Now this is running a one gigahertz Snapdragon processor. Uh, I believe it has a gig of RAM in it. I will ch double check that and put that information in the show notes on butterscotch.com. But if you look here, even when, uh, the, when the hinge is closed, there's not really anything protruding here. It really is just a pretty standard uh, candy bar phone. Now this is gonna be going for $199 on Sprint with the standard two year contract, uh, unclear on unlocked pricing at this time. So that's your Gadget TV first look at the Kyocera Echo. For Gadget TV, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin. For more sweet stuff, visit butterscotch.com.